I'm standing here in front of the Higgerson and Neal Funeral Home on Main Street, downtown Belleville. Boy, I remember this place from a long, long time ago. And I think it was built long before I was even born. Let's go in and find out more about it. Okay, I'm inside now, and before me I have uh, Beverly Neal, uh, and then I also have Jim Higgerson uh, of the uh, Higgerson and Neal uh, Funeral Home. Um, Beverly, tell me uh, a little bit about the funeral home and uh, your time here uh, in Belleville. Uh, we've truly enjoyed our time here. Uh, we certainly hope to continue our time. Um, we're here to serve the community as best we can to meet the needs um, of everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a very um, diverse community and we certainly hope that we can meet those needs um, and we're trying our best. Okay. Jim, uh, you were talking to me a few minutes ago about a little bit of history. How long has uh, this funeral home been here in town? And it's been through a few name changes, but tell me a little bit it about start, that. It started, the funeral home started uh, not as a funeral home, as a residence. I, okay. If I'm not mistaken, it was a Fisher family in 1889. 1889? Yes. Wow. That's the same year as the Oklahoma This building's Lane. been here that long. Yes. And then uh, it was uh, the people owned, uh, the Fisher family, they owned the State Bank of Belleville, which became National Bank of Detroit, and in 1932 it became the Roberts Brothers Funeral Home. So this building has got great history, one of the oldest buildings in Belleville. Yeah. One of the things that uh, I heard from other people in the community, and I've lived here most of my life as well, is that when they come here it really feels uh, kind of homey, kind of like uh, maybe grandma's house type of thing. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Uh, have you? had that impression from uh, some of your clients? Absolutely. That's one of the first things we hear when families come in is, wow, this is just like coming home to grandma's house. And uh, we, we think it's very important that people feel comfortable with when they one come in. One of the um, release factors for stress is food. And we absolutely have no qualms with folks bringing food in. In fact, we have a refrigerator in the lower level to accommodate that situation. We have table and chairs and uh, plates and silverware. So. People are highly encouraged to bring in food and to be comfortable. Our goal is to serve one family at a time so they have the uh, building to themselves and they can feel comfortable doing whatever they want to do. Yeah. Well, it is a stressful time, I'm sure, and, and having food and uh, maybe some family recipes around has got to be you know, comforting uh, to those that are, that are in need. I think that's a really neat idea. Jim, did you uh, have any comments that you'd like to make about the funeral home? Maybe something that uh, you'd like people to remember about Higgerson and Neal Funeral Home? Well, uh, other than the history, I would like to uh, emphasize as well that we do have a room that's uh, dedicated to children in a lower level. Okay. So that if the adults want to be alone in their grieving process, the children can uh, be downstairs and we have uh, things for them to play with and a television and some video games. Well, that's neat. It's very unique. Yeah. All right. Well, I thank you both for uh, taking the time to talk to me, and uh, we'll get your message out to the rest of the community. Thanks so much. Thank you. Bob.